I started with this example on purpose because the one half power is the same as what? The square root. So we just did square root equations, but I, I did this on purpose so that we could extend this here in a second when the exponent is not an exponent that we've dealt with. So when there was a square root, what did we do? We squared both sides. Here's why we square both sides. If it's in rational exponent form, what happens when we raise a power to a power? You multiply. So what's one half times two? One. Okay, that's why we square both sides. It's not only because the square root and squared are inverses, so they undo each other, but it's when you raise a power to a power, you get the first power. So 3b plus 1 to the first is just 3b plus 1. All right? Now, the reason why I'm emphasizing that will make more sense here in a second, but just roll with it right now. Okay? So we've got 3b plus 1 is equal to 49. We're back to the very simple equations. This is just a linear equation. Subtract 1 from both sides. Divide by 3. b is equal to 16. You should always check it. 3 times 16 is 48. 48 plus 1 is 49. 49 to the 1 half is the square root of 49, which is 7. Okay? Usually you're not going to have an issue unless you have a quadratic. Okay? But you still should check it in class. Now, b is a little bit different. Okay? B, that entire right side is not in parentheses. That entire right side is not raised to the one-half power. Only the N is raised to the one-half power. So we've got to start by isolating this expression right here, the N to the one-half. We've got to get it by itself. So we start by subtracting 3 from both sides. So that gives us negative 21 is equal to negative 3 N to the one-half. Then we divide both sides by negative 3. So we get 7 is equal to n to the 1 half. Finally, we square both sides. So we get 49 is equal to n. I could check it. I'm not going to go through that process, but I could plug that into the calculator to check. Okay, so that wasn't really any different from what we've just done the last two days. Let's look at one that is. And I'll give you a second to write it down because it is kind of a long equation. 2 times parentheses 3x minus 58 close the parentheses to the 4 over 5 to the 4 fifths power is equal to 32. Okay, first things first. That 2 in front, first of all, does not get distributed inside the parentheses because exponents come before multiplication. You'd have to apply that exponent before you could multiply by 2. So our only choice is to divide both sides by 2. Now that doesn't change anything of what's in parentheses. It's just getting rid of that coefficient of 2 in front. Now, our expression with the rational exponent is isolated. So our next step is to get rid of that exponent. Well, we raise the other problems to the second power because that was what um, made 1 half turn into 1 when we multiply. So we're going to, yes, raise it to the 5 over 4. You raise it to the reciprocal power because 4 fifths times 5 fourths is 1. So we have 3x minus 58 is equal to, and I'm going to go ahead and write this in radical form because I've got to evaluate that number right there. The fourth root of 16 raised to the fifth. Now, here's where we have to be careful. The fourth root of 16 is 2, but we have two possibilities. It can be positive 2, and it can be negative 2. So we're actually going to get two solutions out of this equation right here. So we've got 3x minus 58 is equal to positive 2 to the fifth. And we have 3x minus 58 is equal to negative 2 raised to the fifth. So let's solve one at a time. 2 to the 5th is uh, 32. Add 58. It's 
so we get 3x is equal to 90 divide by 3 x is equal to 30 is one of our solutions for the other equation we've got 3x minus 58 is equal to negative 32 we solve it the same way but when we add 58 we're adding it to negative 32 so that's like subtracting 32 from 58 so that's 26 And 26 is not evenly divisible by 3. Very, very important that we check these solutions. Okay? Very important that we check these solutions. So, let me do that. 2 times 3 times 30 minus 58. Now be careful, when you raise this to the 4 fifths, you have to put 4 fifths in parentheses. Okay, so everybody see what I have typed into my calculator right here. You have to have four fifths in parentheses or else your calculator is going to raise that expression to the fourth and then it's going to divide the whole thing by five. That's not going to give you the right answer. Okay, we get 32. Let me plug in 26 over 3. You can put that in parentheses if you want to. You really don't have to, but it also gives us 32. Okay. So, if, when uh, you raise it to the reciprocal power, if the root is even, you have to consider the positive and the negative. If the root is even, you have to consider the positive and the negative. If it's an odd root, then you only have one choice. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. It's not also positive 2. Okay? So, if it's an even root, you have to consider positive and negative and then apply the exponent. Um, if it's an odd root, you don't have to worry about that, aka our next problem right here. All right, so, yes ma'am? Yes, yes, even a square root, yes. When it's in the middle of the problem like this, you gotta consider the positive and the negative. All right, so negative 27 is equal to negative 84 minus n to the 3 fourths. Okay, again, that negative, you don't distribute it, you got to move it to the other side. That negative is like a negative 1, so if you want to look at it as you're dividing by negative 1, you know, whatever, just so you get positive 27 is equal to 84 minus m to the 3 fourths. All right, expression is isolated so we raise it to the reciprocal power so that is the cube root of 27 raised to the fourth is equal to 84 minus m now here's what i was talking about the cube root of 27 only has one answer okay there's only one way to get 27 if you cube a number that's if you cube positive 3. if you cube negative 3 you get negative 27. So we only have one solution here. And 3 to the 4th is 81, right? Yeah. 81. So subtract 84 from both sides. We get negative 3 is equal to, be careful, negative m. So positive 3 is equal to positive m. You can check it. Good check it. Type in negative parentheses 84 minus 3 raised to the make sure 3 fourths is in parentheses. Negative 27. Alright. 